Welcome back to MrsDukes.com. I'm Mrs. Dukes and today we're going to be doing a funky cow watercolor project. In order to do this project you're going to need a watercolor paper. I'm using the Canson watercolor pad from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a watercolor set. I'm using the Prang, a watercolor brush, a cup of water, and you're also going to need oil pastels. If you would like to follow along step by step, you can find a link down below with free downloadable step by step directions for you to use. Okay, to start out on your watercolor paper, over on the right hand side, sort of in the middle, you're going to make a big oval. Okay. From your oval, you're going to go straight up and straight up. And then you're going to put two circles in that area with another circle inside. Within the oval, you're going to put a curve and then another curve and then a curve and another curve to be the nostrils of the cow. For his top, you're going to make kind of a fluffy cow-like or cloud-like shape. And then he'll have horns coming from that cloud shape, coming up and out, and up and out. It is okay if it goes off the page. That is all right. Okay, from the cloud-like shape up here at the top, you're gonna come straight out. Don't go through your horn if you can help it, although you can always go through it and erase it later. Come around and when you get close to the edge of the paper, go ahead and curve down almost to the bottom of the paper and then make a small line across. From here, you're going to come up a little way, so that's going to be his foot. And then you're going to make a curve down and when you get close to his nostril, to his mouth part right here, you're going to curve up a little bit and then you're going to come down and another straight line that's for his leg and when you come straight up you should be about in the middle of his face down here at the bottom we're going to make lines right here to be his hooves we're going to make his back legs so come down a little bit away from the back go across make his gut hoof and then right here close to where we came down we're going to come straight down and over and make that one. The other thing that you will have is his tail so right up here we have this corner that we left you're going to come out and curve up skip some space come out and curve up and then you can close that off and then put like a bushy tail type top on. And that's how you draw the cow. Afterwards, you're gonna take your Sharpie and go over all the lines that you just did with the Sharpie. Try as carefully as you can to stay right on your pencil. It can be difficult and we do have erasers for a reason but try, it's good practice. Okay, once you have that part done, you're gonna take an eraser and you're gonna erase all of your pencil lines. Okay, at this part, you're ready for the next step, which is oil pastel designs. So you're gonna take your box of oil pastels Mine have been used, can you tell? And you're gonna do any kind of design within the body. Make sure that you're pushing down fairly hard. You want it to be completely oily. When we watercolor over this design, the oil and the water are going to stay away from each other so we'll be able to watercolor right over our oil pastel designs. It's okay to do half of your design 
because it's going around on the other side of the cow where we can't see. Okay, you're also going to put a design. Oh wait, I forgot his, oh no. Don't forget his legs on the back. Okay. Next, you're gonna put a design on his tail. Again, the design can be anything you want. I would try to keep it a little on the simple side. Make sure you're pressing down. Okay, you're also going to put a design on top of his head. You can also put a design inside his nose. You can really put one anywhere you want. I'm just giving you ideas. Um, I wouldn't put a des design in every single spot. I would kind of pick and choose some. Okay. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a design or just something simple on his clothes. And I also want his nostrils to be black. Okay. If you feel good about your designs and where you have everything, then you may start watercoloring. Remember to prime your watercolor set, which remember means to put one drop of water on each color, just to let the water soak in. These are watercolors, meaning they work with water, so you have to make sure you add water to them. Now, if you want to mix a color, like I don't want to use any of these plain colors right now, I want to mix kind of a yellow-orange, you can drop off some orange onto the lid, into one of the parts. Ah. I'm going to make a yellow orange, so I'm going to need yellow. And you can paint right over your oil pastels. You'll see how I'm painting over it, but oil and water do not like each other. Around the edges, I would go really neatly and really slowly to make sure that you stay inside your black lines. If that's hard for you, another thing you can do is go over your black lines with the black oil pastel. Since the oil and water don't like each other, it'll help keep your water in the area where you want it to be. If you want something to be lighter, if you don't have a white watercolor, which there usually isn't in a regular 12 color set, you just add more water to it. Hopefully your water is clean, mine could be cleaner here. If you find that you put too much water, too much watercolor in an area, simply dab it off. Or you can roll a clean brush on top and drop it off into your water so there's not quite so much. Now, I have plenty of watercolor in this area. I can see how much liquid I have. So before I get more, I'm gonna to try to spread out what I have so it's not too wet. I'm gonna to avoid touching wet watercolor next to wet watercolor because the two will bleed together. So if I think an area is a little bit wet, I'll just go past it for the moment and I can always come back to it. Again, if you want to help make sure that your watercolors don't spread and it doesn't go out where you don't want it, go over your black lines with a black oil pastel. If you're painting a tiny space, 
try to knock off as much water as you can, as much of your watercolor, so that you don't have as much on your brush. When you're done, make sure to clean the lid so that you do when you close it, you don't have all the colors mixed together. Make sure you set it somewhere to dry and put away your oil pastels. And here's the finished product. Remember, if you want to follow along step by step, I have provided a link down below that has step by step directions that's all free.